Registered Phenomena Code 343 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Aggression Hazard Sentient Hazard Visual Hazard Additional Properties Organic Containment Protocols RPC-343 is to be contained in a large, reinforced containment chamber. The chamber should be featureless, with the exception of a wall-mounted camera and a single overhead light. No liquids or reflective surfaces are to be brought into the chamber outside of testing conditions. The chamber should have one entrance which is to be guarded while personnel are present in the chamber. In the event that RPC-343 needs to be relocated, RPC-343 is to be sedated and restrained prior to relocation. Visual perception of personnel tasked with sedation is to be fully obstructed, such that visual observation of RPC-343 is not possible. Standardly, the usage of a blindfold for this requisite is permitted. In the event that entrance into RPC-343's chamber is required, the chamber light should be deactivated prior to entry. As a further precaution, staff are not to make visual contact with RPC-343 in any capacity, and must additionally obscure their visual perception. If sight is required, a small flashlight should be used to facilitate this. In the event visual contact is made, the observer should immediately terminate visual contact and retreat to a safe position, perpendicular to the vector between the point of observation and RPC-343. Description: RPC-343 is a large cervid resembling Otocoileus virginianus, standing at a height of 2.73 meters at the shoulders, commonly known as the white-tailed deer. Aside from its large size, the most notable feature of RPC-343 is its featureless space, lacking eyes, mouth, ears, and a nose. The antlers remain present, which span 1.59 meters from tip to tip. Under most circumstances, RPC-343 appears entirely unaware of its surroundings, and has been observed to bump into obstacles within its containment chamber frequently. In addition to its lack of sight, hearing, smell, and taste, which are apparent given its missing corresponding sensory features, RPC-343 has not been observed to respond to tactile stimuli. RPC-343 does not appear to require sustenance to survive though does occasionally demonstrate behavior believed to be sleeping. When observed, RPC-343 becomes acutely aware of the position of the observer, even beyond what would be expected of a non-anomalous cervid. RPC-343 is capable of sensing visual contact in any state, quickly awakening when in a resting state, and appearing to become distressed even when heavily sedated. RPC-343 has demonstrated highly territorial behavior typically charging towards any observer within seconds of viewing. If visual contact is broken, RPC-343 becomes unaware of the viewer's position, but does extrapolate the last position the observer was detected in, and their direction of motion to retriangulate the subject, and continue aggressive behavior. To date, RPC-343 has responded to all instances of visual contact with some form of aggression or distress. RPC-343 additionally appears capable of responding to indirect viewing. Aggression has been recorded after RPC-343 was viewed with a mirror, other reflective surfaces, and reflective liquids. However, RPC-343 has not responded to any form of remote observation. See Addendum 343b. Subjects who have viewed RPC-343 have reported intense feelings of dread and hopelessness during the viewing of RPC-343, and several subjects have been recorded failing to retreat at their visual contact. This is believed to be as a result of intense feelings of fear that induce shock on the subject. Following exposure, 80% of subjects have reported reoccurring nightmares involving being chased by RPC-343, although the location where the dream takes place is variable. To date, there has been exactly one instance of a subject reporting seeing RPC-343's facial region quote-unquote staring at them whenever they closed their eyes, 
including during moments of full consciousness. It is suspected that these dreams and hallucinations are the result of an undocumented anomalous property of RPC-343. Administration of amnestics has been effective at relieving these effects in all cases. Discovery RPC-343 was recovered within the Great Smoky Mountains National Park after report service of an abnormally large and aggressive deer in the region. Sedation and capture of RPC-343 proceeded without incident. An isolated building was located in the vicinity of RPC-343's capture, surrounded by several mutilated human bodies that appeared to have been trampled or gored by a large cervid. The identities of the corpses could not be determined. The building contained multiple carvings and effigies depicting something similar to RPC-343, showing a deer without any facial features. None of the objects found within were determined to be anomalous and were subsequently relocated while the building was destroyed. Addendum 343-B 2000 and RPC-343 was observed facing the chamber's west wall for variable intervals of time over a period of 11 hours. Following this, RPC-343 began to stare directly into the observation camera for a further two hours. Researchers tasked with observing RPC-343 at the time described a rapid onset of paranoia when this behavior began. It was found that both of these behaviors coincided with moments that RPC-343 had been viewed remotely from the observation room, which was located west from the containment chamber. Following this, RPC-343 was promptly sedated and the camera was removed. Containment protocols have been revised following this incident. The researchers involved were administered amnestics at their request. <laughs>